So color transfer is a new neural filter, and it has a lot of creative applications where you can take an image and quickly apply many different presets that are already loaded into the feature panel. Now I know Adobe is going to upgrade this and add a lot more, but you can also customize it and maybe match a color from this image to this image. Yes! So color transfer is a pretty powerful neuro filter. Let's go over to filter neuro filters. So if I just choose color transfer, so here I can pick any of these preset photographs and it's going to kind of load the colors on it. Like here's just a black and white high contrast. Here's blues. So it's taking the colors of these images and applying them to whatever image you want. Here's like a sepia vintage look, more of a purpley look, yellow look. So you see how there's a lot of power there and I can always, you know, brighten it up if it went a little crazy and pull up the luminance to get the contrasty look that I'm looking for. And that's great, right? That's really fun and creative. But check this out. Let's say I have a photo shoot and here my white balance was perfect, ready to go. But then I went by a different window light and I didn't check my color temperature or my white balance settings. And all of a sudden I've got this whole series of images that don't have this really nice warm tint. Well, watch this. I just select that image, go to filter, Neuro filters. I'll go down to color transfer and then instead of the presets, I'm going to choose custom and I'm going to go down to select an image and it's basically looking at any images I have open in Photoshop. So this is the image that I need, the 173. It's going to show it to me and then it's going to apply it. Look at that. Look how great of a job it did. I can bring up that brightness just a touch. Click OK. So before and after. And then let me pull this down so you can see. Do you see how it got it in the ballpark? I'd say it's a little too saturated, but it got it so quickly in the ballpark. So let's say you spent a lot of time creating a look, but you didn't save it as a preset, but you want to apply that whole color and tone to a very similar image. So essentially just go up to filter, neuro filter. And again, you're going to go over to the color transfer, turn it on. And this time, instead of using a preset, you're going to use custom and you're going to find that image that's already open in Photoshop. Here it is. It's going to show it to me and it's going to apply it automatically. See processing on device. And it did a really good job. If I need to preserve the luminance, I can toggle that on. And I think that did a wonderful job. Click OK. So for just a quick pass, it went from this more cool neutral image to this warm one that's very similar to this one. Hey, if you like this video and help, you can help me. Smack it, whack it, and crack a lack it. Take care. I like subscribers. That's awesome. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.